And I'd show you this. Um, this is a bad O2 sensor. Um, so an O2 sensor is supposed to get down to zero, um, v you know, fairly quickly. And this one has taken a good amount of time to get to zero, and you know, doesn't quite get there. Um, so I'll show you what happens when I heat it up. So, heat it up. So it does get to where you want it to get to. It will get to one. So there we go, we'll drop it down. See, it's taken a while to drop down to zero. So therefore I know this is a bad O2 sensor. Um, I'll test the other one and I'll show you what that one's getting down to and how quickly it gets to zero. But this one is definitely taking a lot longer than it should. I'll keep heating it up. Yeah, see that shouldn't be doing that should be going straight down to almost zero right away. So that's a bad O2 sensor. Okay, now I'll show you how quickly a good O2 sensor gets down to zero. So I'm heated up right now. There it goes. We're at 95, just like before, I'll take it away. See how quickly, how much quicker that it gets down to zero. It's still a little slow on the end, but it still makes it down to zero a lot quicker than the other O2 sensor I had. Again, you know, the more I heat it up, the faster it gets down to zero. I heated up the other one for quite a while, and it still never got down to zero as quickly as this one. So this O2 sensor is good. This is my last O2 sensor. Oh, it just dropped. So it looks like I have two bad O2 sensors. It's only at 50, it needs to get up to 90. Oh, it just dropped again. So I should replace two O2 sensors. So if I just get to zero. Whoa, negative. That O2 sensor is definitely bad. So I have two O2 sensors I need to replace.